last night have seen this story uh, that I'm calling a fake. It was pointed out by Jim Funky. I'm not going to go through all of this again. I'll link you to the video. If you haven't seen any of this, you can catch up. But now we have more evidence that this story is fake. Um, first, it's unreasonable to think a story tagged in the manner that I tagged it um, would only get 33 views. It is possible, however, so we won't spend any time on that. I want to go down here and show you that no one else has put any rebuttal except for this one comment that was labeled likely as spam from Jen from Carolina who tells me in here that I should do my research and that, uh, you know, all the stuff that was already regurgitated on the social web through the one post that you find. Uh, well, evidently, Jen from Carolina was able to do what I was not able to do, and she was able to find a link on the Fort Drum page to this soldier's uh, battalion or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's great. It takes about a minute and a half to put up a web page if you already have a website and a template. And, and as you see, this page has absolutely no information on it at all. It does give the address, so we're going to just do something here for later use. We're going to copy that address. Okay, we're going to hang on to that for a minute. We're going to look at what else might be here. Uh, let's take a look at A Company. Oh, that's a shame. 404 not found. Let's take a look at B Company. Oh, look at that. That's not found either. Well, maybe they have some pictures. Let's, let's go down to the photos. Hey, now look at that. That's a nice random photo of a group of individuals dressed in military gear, I guess. Uh, if anyone could ever get close enough to any of this to find out uh, who or what this is, that would be amazing. Um, it seems like maybe there should be other pictures, you know, like the picture of the commander or something that you'll find on many other of the pages that are real at Fort Drum. So anyway, uh, I call bullshit. Page was put up. Let's let's look at Jen here. This is Jen from Carolina, her Google Plus. Uh, you see that she has no followers. 7,000 people have viewed her account. She doesn't have any followers. There's one post only from December of 2013. When we check her out on YouTube, all activities, all she does is subscribe to channels that would validate her as a real woman, or a real person, by subscribing to lipstick and beauty and all these other things. This is a way, psychologically, for others to validate her. But let's find out what she's all about, really. Uh, one subscriber joined in 2011, a couple months after 9-11 only has one subscriber. Any of you know anything about YouTube? You create a channel and by 24 hours has expired, you at least have five or ten subscribers. Even if you don't share that information, YouTube, their system does help you gain subscribers. Uh, and I mean, I don't expect her to have a lot because she hasn't posted any videos, but it, with as many other channels that she's subscribed to, you, you would think that she would have, in all the four years, uh, have more than one subscriber. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's go over to Google Earth for a minute, and and I've already uh, done this, but we're going to do it again in front of you so that you can see. I'm going to paste into search the address that you saw me copy, and we're going to see where that is, shall we? Um, and it gives me some, did I mean? As soon as you see, did you mean, you know that that location doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. There is a same address on South Riva Ridge Loop, but that's not the address that the Army used. You saw it. So, 
let's we'll try it again see number one it, it's not okay so let's go to north river ridge loop fort drum okay because they don't even list this address this is not an address that is at fort drum it is not there's one that's similar i will give you that but if our military can't put down the proper address on their website well maybe they're not responsible enough to be dropping bombs all over the planet either so let's just do the the second north riva oh that's right here that's right here this is the loop evidently the buildings around it is a chapel fake it's all fake created for you to sway your opinion make you angry look at this poor man anyone that would look on his face would well first of all question his mental stability probably uh, but most of us would have compassion and we would be angry if this poor man with all of his deficits that life has already handed him went off to war and then was killed by those terrorists we would be angry Sock puppets, U.S. government, all you bastards. First of all, go back to school. We're awake. We're here. We see what's going on. We know what's going on. We're proving you wrong at every turn. I, I can't do anything other than call this a fake by your government to manipulate public opinion so that you will validate them killing more people. Anyway, the link to the video is below if anybody comes up with positive proof that this man was our soldier and that he was killed please confront me give me the information show me that I'm wrong I'm hoping that someone will because if your government will do things that are so cruel to manipulate your opinion and they value life so little that they will create fake stories of murder of our soldiers, then, again, it's one more indicator that you need to shut this goddamn government down immediately. Much love. Many thanks.